Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, I've got my butterfly net here today, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you seven points, seven techniques on how to catch a butterfly for scientific research. And so, guys, check out the video as I give you a tutorial on how to properly catch a butterfly. One, use the right net. The fabric has gotta be super, super soft. If you use a real heavy fabric, like a heavy mesh, you know, as you can see, this fabric is very, very lightweight. I like a darker mesh, a darker color mesh, because it helps you see through it and you can actually see what's inside of your net instead of guessing what's inside of your net. Um, and it helps you handle the butterfly without harming it as well. And so fine mesh, it's gotta be somewhat strong and then um, darker in color. So uh, guys, like I said, you can get the Lepidoptera net bags from BioQuip. Um, they're not too expensive, but they're definitely worth getting ones. Uh, or you can make them yourself if you're uh, a super handy person. And we're gonna have some videos on, on that stuff as well, and including how to handle a butterfly without harming it, and also how to make your own net bag. Those videos are coming up soon, so stay tuned. Here's a, a nice sulfur butterfly. Butterflies can't hear. They're actually deaf but they can see really, really well. In fact, they see motion really well. And if you are making too much movement, then you are going to chase, scare away your butterfly. So you gotta kind of sneak up, and there's a gulf artillery up here on the grass, nectaring. You gotta kind of sneak up. But if you make too much sudden movements, they will see you, and you won't be, see, just like that. He saw me coming, and it was too late. So sudden movements, uh, are a no-no because they have those compound eyes that can really see like thousands of versions of you with your net coming. So you gotta kind of sneak up, move quickly, and take your swing. Here we go. All right, guys. So what you wanna do, you've gotta make a firm swing. So there's a sulfur, okay. there's a sulfur butterfly up here laying eggs. So you've gotta make a firm swing, but you can't be too fast and you don't wanna follow through too far. Let me show you this and I'll explain it. Okay, so I, I take a firm swing. But not too fast, because you don't want to harm the butterfly. Okay, and then you don't want to you don't want to follow through too far because then the butterfly jams in the back of your net bag, you might damage it. So as you can see, this butterfly is completely unharmed. And this is why I like my darker net bag, because you can you can see right through the net and see what you're dealing with. This is a Statira sulfur female, and I'm gonna go ahead and release her completely unharmed. There she goes. And that is how you swing at a butterfly. So it's a so it's a it's a firm swing, not a huge follow-through, just enough to get them inside the net. And then point four, when you swing, you gotta close your net bag by twisting it. So if the butterfly is in the back of the net bag, now when you twist it, the rim of the net cuts off the butterfly from escaping out of the hole. So now you can actually twist it all the way over and now you have like a little, like a little table here to work with where your butterfly should be flapping around inside of this portion of the net and you have a table to work with and you can put the net between your legs, the handle between your legs and now you can have two hands to work with. You can put the, kind of control the butterfly with one hand and then move in inside of the net ring with the other hand and grab your butterfly if you so desire. Okay guys, step number five, catching a butterfly on the ground. There's a, there's a, a dainty sulfur right there. And so, and she, he's on a flower right there. See? Okay. Now, we're gonna follow him, he don't go too far. All right, catching a butterfly on the ground is a little different than when a butterfly is flying or up in a tree. So what you wanna do is you wanna go, first of all, wait until he lands, if he will. I'll give him five, four, three, two, there he goes, he landed. All right, now, what you wanna do is you wanna come up really slowly, and then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna, to, oh, he just flew. I waited too long. You're gonna move up really slow to where your butterfly is. 
wait until he lands, and then plop down with the, the net ring all the way down, all along the ground, and then what you'll do is you'll pop your net bag up like a tent, and butterflies always instinctively fly up. And so when the butterfly is, has flown up into the net bag, like so, you can then fold your net bag over and then come back just like we talked about earlier. And now we have our butterfly in our, in our net bag here, the Nathalus Ioli, the dainty sulfur. And I'm gonna go ahead and just let him go. But that is how to catch a butterfly that's landed on the ground. All right, point number six, guys. When a butterfly is on a tree trunk, um, certain butterfly species or families like to land on branches or on trunks and they don't land necessarily on leaves or flowers. It makes it a little difficult because, you know, when you have, when you have a tree trunk, you can't follow through if you're swinging. If the butterflies landed on the tree trunk, it's hard to follow through. In fact, you can't follow through unless you kind of, kind of do one of these numbers. Right? So you can come up from underneath with, an, with a motion. Let's say, imagine the butterfly is right there. You can come up underneath the butterfly, but there's always other stuff that could get in the way, which is you'd have to maneuver around it. But you just kind of kind of do this and then plop your net down or fold it over. And it's tough, guys. It's really not easy to catch a butterfly off of a trunk. Um, you got a, a little bit of practice. I've missed some really interesting insects uh, before just because you try to swing and you hit the thing and then the butterfly or the insect flies away so uh, that's part of the deal but you got to practice and you'll learn some techniques on your own step number seven catching a butterfly in a bait trap i've got a whole nother video series just on that so i'll turn you over to that video which i'll link in the description but using a butterfly bait trap is one of the one of the coolest ways that i've seen to survey lepidoptera because you can place your bait trap out, use bananas and some apples, or, or there's all kinds of different fruit mixtures you can use. Uh, and then you set your trap out and you come back the next day or two days later and you see what's come. So that's cool. And guys, that's about it. Seven steps on how to catch a butterfly for scientific research. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Sorry I'm sweating, it is South Florida. Uh, and. Um, uh, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida, guys. Thanks for your support. Take care.